Now you might have noticed in one or two of my videos that uh, the Bonneville's actually fitted with the dart fly screen. Now I wanted something that would just take away the waste of the wind blast on longer journeys. But at the time that I bought the Bonneville, for some reason, the Triumph fly screen wasn't available. I couldn't get hold of one. And so I had to look for an alternative. Now the Dart fly screen seemed like the best choice. It actually looked very similar to the Triumph item. And the reviews were very favorable in that it was high quality and it performed its purpose very well. Now to avoid any misunderstandings, this screen has been fitted to the bike for five months for the purposes of a review to see how it stands up to use. It's then been carefully removed and repacked for filming purposes. Now it took three or four days to arrive and it comes in this box which is quite attractive with a picture of a bike with the screen fitted and the Dart logo at the top there. Now this is the specific one for the T120. Obviously different bikes have uh, different headlamp fittings so each kit has to be tailored to the specific model via the actual fitting brackets and on the back there's just an exploded diagram of the screen and the components that come with it now inside it's all well packaged the screen's inside a plastic bag and it's held in place with this sort of cardboard bracketry affair it seems well made very nice clean shiny plastic it's got four holes in it to actually hold it onto the brackets and it's got the embossed dart logo at the bottom now one thing I did notice though, just below the Dart logo, it, it's very badly finished. It's quite jagged and sharp. In fact, it looks like they've just chewed the excess plastic off with the teeth. Be aware of that before you order it. You also get the fitting instructions, a little Dart sticker if you like that sort of thing, and some care instructions that just explain how to look after your screen, uh, and what sort of cleaners to use, etc. Now also inside there's some plastic bags, one contains your fasteners, that's four 4mm four Allen bolts, four rubber grommets, four small washers and four large spacer washers. You also have two separate plastic bags, one with your left and your right bracket inside. Now the bracket has this lug on the back which is designed to rest on the top of your headlamp bracket. They, they have actually taken quite a bit of care in shaping this so it doesn't cause any damage but I didn't like the look of that so I did take some precautions which I'll show you later on. It's also got four captive nuts on the back of the brackets for you to fasten the screen onto. Now the first thing you need to do before you get your hands dirty is put these little grommets into the screen. Now be careful because if you drop one of these it will bounce off into another dimension, be warned. Now where those lugs are going to come to rest on your headlamp bracket, you need to put something there to protect it. I just cut some bicycle frame protectors to size. You can get these from any bike shop. They're just to protect bicycle frames from your cables and your chain, that sort of thing. Now if you just stick them in the right place, it'll stop those lugs from the screen bracket from actually damaging the paintwork on your headlamp bracket. Once you've done that, the next thing you need to do is remove the headlamp bracket retaining bolt from one side only of your headlamp. You do it this way to try and avoid altering the alignment of your actual headlamp, which can be a pain to put right later on. Once you've got that bolt out, you leave the washer where it is and you insert the bolt into the windscreen mounting bracket. You then put the two spacers provided with the dart kit on the inside of the bracket. You can then screw it back in. Now at this point, just place it where it should be and only fasten it up just a little bit more than finger tight. Don't screw the bolt all the way in. Once you've done that, repeat the procedure on the other side. Both of your brackets should then be in place ready to accept the screen. Now this is where the second and slightly more serious problem shows itself. The sharp inside edge of both of the windscreen brackets make contact with the headlamp brackets and I don't think they're supposed to. Those two spacer washers are supposed to hold the two brackets apart so they don't come in contact with each other and obviously it doesn't work. Now there was slight damage to the paintwork on the headlamp bracket although it hadn't gone through to metal as yet but eventually it will and rust will be the inevitable result. Now it's time to fit the screen as per the instructions and you do that with the four Allen bolts that are provided. Relatively straightforward and it takes about two minutes to actually put them in place. 
you should then go around and make sure that all nuts and bolts are tightened up correctly and check your headlamp alignment to make sure it's where it should be. Now there's no doubt in my mind that this screen does make a difference to the riding experience of the bike. It effectively gives you about another 10 miles an hour comfortable cruising speed. In real terms that means you can travel at 70 miles an hour feeling quite relaxed for long periods of time and that really is the aim of what this screen is supposed to do. You do still get a substantial wind blast to your shoulders and to the helmet but it's clean air, there's no buffeting and it is vastly reduced to what it would be without the screen. Now it currently sells for £79.95 which I personally think is a bit steep for what is a mediocre piece of equipment. I've no doubt that Darts claims that the top quality materials are used in the manufacture of this item are true but to be honest the execution has been a little bit clumsy. The rough patch at the bottom of the plastic screen is annoying but I could live with that. What I can't live with is the damage that these brackets are going to cause to your headlamp bracket over time. Any accessory fitted to a, a motorbike should enhance the performance and the aesthetics of the machine and they should be able to do that without causing any damage to it and I'm afraid that's where Darts failed. Now these flaws might not bother some people but they are going to bother other people and I'm one of those people and personally if I had the choice again I think I would be looking at the Triumph screen. Now the Triumph screen may have similar problems I don't know but at least with Triumph you do have the backup of their warranty and it will be down to Triumph to sort out any damage that their accessories cause. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you next time.